Luke Skywalker was born at a tumultuous time. His mother, Padme Amidala, died after giving birth. His father, Anakin Skywalker, had just fallen to the dark side, taking up the mantle of Darth Vader. The Republic was dead, and the Galactic Empire was rising. Anakin's former master, Obi-Wan Kenobi, worked with Jedi Master Yoda and Senator Bail Organa to separate and hide Luke from his twin sister, Leia. They had a public funeral for Padme, making it appear as if she was still pregnant. Leia went to live with the Organas on Alderaan, and Luke was sent to live with the Larses, his extended family, on Tatooine. Luke was raised as a moisture farmer. He had a natural aptitude at repairing electronics and was a skilled pilot. He was unaware, but Anakin had these exact same traits as a young age. The Skywalker bloodline is strong in the Force. Luke was determined to leave Tatooine and join the Imperial Academy. While not a fan of the Empire, Luke saw it as his only way off the desert planet. His uncle forbade it claiming he needed Luke's help on the farm, but secretly didn't want the fate that befell Anakin to also fall to the sun. Lars also kept Obi-Wan Kenobi away from Luke for similar reasons. When fate, perhaps the Force itself, intervened, Luke came into possession of two droids with ties to the Rebel Alliance and Luke's own father. The Empire tracked the droids and slaughtered Luke's aunt and uncle in their search. With no connection left on the planet, Luke joined up with Obi-Wan Kenobi to bring the droids to the mysterious princess Luke saw in a hidden message. The message, famously, was from Princess Leia. She spoke to General Kenobi of the desperate need for help from the Rebel Alliance and introduced Luke to the larger conflict brewing in the galaxy. Jedi Master Kenobi filled Luke in on some of his family history, although from a certain point of view. He also gave Luke Anakin's lightsaber, recovered after his fateful duel on Mustafar. Luke was told that he must accompany Obi-Wan to Alderaan and learn the ways of the Force. Luke, Obi-Wan, C-3PO, and R2-D2 made a deal with a pair of smugglers, Han Solo and Chewbacca, for passage to Alderaan aboard the Millennium Falcon. The Empire captures the Millennium Falcon, and when Luke learns that Princess Leia is also captive in the same space station, he talks Han and Chewie into a rescue mission. Obi-Wan sacrifices himself to the Sith Lord as Luke escapes with the others, having successfully rescued Leia. Luke joins the Rebel Alliance in their assault on the Death Star. Guided by the Force and Obi-Wan Kenobi, Luke makes a spectacularly difficult shot, destroying the Death Star. After another encounter with the Empire, Luke is visited by the Force spirit of his former master Obi-Wan and destructs Luke to seek out Jedi Master Yoda on the swamp planet Dagobah. On Dagobah, Luke's training reaches a whole new level. Yoda teaches Luke important lessons, not just about the Force, but about who Luke is. Luke spends time honing his abilities, though he has a hard time letting go of his fears. Against Yoda's wishes, Luke leaves Dagobah to save his friends. Luke confronts Vader at Cloud City. The fight is fierce. Luke is no match for Vader, and Vader cuts off Luke's sword hand. Vader informs Luke that he, Vader, is Luke's father. Vader asks Luke to join him and rule the galaxy as father and son. Luke does not succumb. He instead falls, presumably, to his death. But Leia senses Luke in the Force and rescues him. Time passes. He uses his newfound powers to help his friends rescue Han Solo from a vile gangster. After a successful rescue, Luke's friends return to the Rebel fleet, but Luke returns to Yoda on Dagobah, believing he is a Jedi. Yoda informs him that he must once again confront Vader, his father. Luke joins Vader on the second Death Star. He tells his father he feels the light is still inside him. He refers to Vader as Anakin. Vader informs Luke that Anakin is gone and brings Luke to Darth Sidious. Emperor Palpatine. In a moment of weakness, Luke ignites his new green-bladed lightsaber. Vader meets Luke's aggression. The two fight again in front of the Emperor. Luke attempts to stop the fight when Vader senses that Luke also has a twin sister. Luke is enraged at the thought of Vader trying to turn Leia. The battle resumes, and this time, Luke gets the upper hand. He beats his father into submission, even cutting off Vader's own hand. Realizing what he's done, realizing how close he came to the dark, Luke regains his composure. He informs Palpatine that the Emperor has failed. Luke is a Jedi, like his father before him. The Emperor accepts that Luke will never turn and starts torturing him to death. Luke's compassion and cries for help awaken the light in Vader. Vader turns on Palpatine after so many years of servitude. Luke is saved, but Vader, Anakin, is fatally wounded. He has Luke remove the intimidating helmet and life-saving respirator. Anakin Skywalker looks at his son with his own eyes. Luke continues to grow more powerful in the Force. 
he makes moves to rebuild the Jedi Order after some years working with promising new Jedi. One very promising pupil is his own nephew, Ben Solo. Luke sensed intense conflict and fear in Solo. In a moment of doubt, he brandishes his lightsaber. Ben brings the school down. Haunted by his failure and the weight of his mistakes, Luke enters a self-imposed exile on the remote planet Octo. Luke spends years on Octo, virtually alone, contemplating his role in the galaxy as well as the Jedi's and cutting himself off from the Force. Rey, a young girl, also very powerful in the Force, finds Luke. He has no interest in returning to the wider galaxy or training Rey. R2-D2 reminds Luke of who he is and what he means to the galaxy. This, coupled with Luke learning from the mistakes he made with Ben Solo, lead to Luke beginning his training of Rey. Regaining his true identity, Luke understands the importance of the legend of Luke Skywalker. Despite having initially told Rey he would not join the war against the First Order, Luke does just that. He uses his immense power to project a version of himself to Crate. After revealing himself to the small remaining band of rebels and having a knowing final conversation with his sister, he puts himself between the First Order and the Rebellion. Everyone present believes they watch a single man take the full brunt of the First Order without even a scratch. They then watch Luke dodge everything Kylo Ren has to throw at him before vanishing. Luke bought the Rebellion time to escape with the help of Rey, and also sowed seeds of doubt to the members of the First Order, as well as another legendary spreading of hope for the galaxy. Luke's physical body, still on Octo, is exhausted by the effort, and Luke allows himself to become one with the Force. He appears with Leia as a Force ghost to Rey, as she makes a pilgrimage to Luke's childhood home of Tatooine. I have a feeling this isn't the very end of Luke's story. Luke Skywalker started as a farmer, ended up a Jedi Master who battled the ultimate tyranny of the galaxy. Luke embodied what it truly meant to be a Jedi. He became a symbol of hope, courage, and the enduring power of the Force. Luke Skywalker is definitely an inspiration to us all. There's a lot more to his story and legends, and as the galaxy expands, we'll look more into him. If you'd like more information on the Jedi, check out this transmission.